Good morning, YouTube. We are back to test the Kettle Street Towers. I did a video of these when Verizon first installed C-Band almost a year ago. And just within the last week, uh, AT&T has been back and has installed C-Band and DOD both. So we've got T-Mobile at the top. They were the first to upgrade to mid-band here. We've got AT&T who just installed their C-Band and DOD panels. And then over here we've got Dish. And then we've got Abandoned Nextel. <clears throat> then we've got Verizon who just recently launched their or went live on their dark fiber here with 10 gig optics um so this is a site that will occasionally pull multi-gig speed tests although it's very inconsistent i'm not sure why we've got abandoned sprint and then we've got crow's nest broadband wisp equipment so those are the towers and antennas and carriers in question for today's video Again, AT&T being brand new. We are on the north end of Altoona. Um, this is what we call the Kettle Road or Kettle Street Tower. Um, both Crown Castle um, sites. And we've got... Uh, well, I'm shooting on the iPhone this morning, and it has my uh, uh, um, boost or dish sim in it. So we'll do a second video uh, with uh, with the test for boost. But we'll start with AT&T. Now, AT&T is currently not showing the 5G Plus indicator for some reason. Although, there it comes. It's back. Um... So this is AT&T, and it's not too bad. Pretty typical. They have, to date, mostly um, gigs, gig backhaul here in the city of Altoona. Um, latency is high. You actually just go change that server to their Ohio server. It tends to do better. While well, that's closing, we'll uh, run T-Mobile here as well. Um, I see that uh, T-Mobile just upgraded this site to multi-gig backhaul as well. Uh, that also just happened very recently. Um, I, I'm, I'm getting somewhat of the umbrella effect here, but it's one of the few places to pull over. Um, back on the road, I was getting um, a gig um so slightly better latency but typical at&t does have great latency uh 685 down 91 up latency of 61 jitter of eight and you can see the uh loaded latencies to a 2196 and then um t-mobile always excels uh in in latency uh 916 by 63 17 milliseconds jitter of four and then i've also got the uh the pixel 8 why don't we just restart both those i've got the pixel 8 pro here with my verizon sim in it also with the 5g uw indicator um so what we have here spectrum wise is 80 megahertz of n77 c band and 40 megahertz of n77 dod for 120 megahertz total of AT&T midband we have um, 180 megahertz of N41 and then a combination of uh, T-Mobile's other three frequencies uh, N25 um, well two frequencies N25 and N71 they have two blocks of N25 and a block of N71 here for a total of about 220 megahertz of spectrum and then Verizon with um, with their uh, 160 megahertz of N77. So all quite quite good Verizon and and AT&T or Verizon and T-Mobile with um 
with multi-band, or I'm sorry, with multi-gig backhaul. Again, I'm getting a bit of an umbrella effect here, um, but all of them very solid. Um, good to see uh, Verizon and T-Mobile uh, go to multi-gig, and good to see AT&T continuing their rollout. This would be the fourth, I believe, um, AT&T's towers in the Altoona market to get upgraded. Um, so well behind the rest, but finally starting to build. Now, um, let me take a moment here to fire up my iPhone on Dish and we'll do a native Dish test yet for this video. All right, we're back with uh, Dish. I uh, had to sit here and coax the thing a while to get it to uh, switch off of T-Mobile over onto Dish, but there it is dish native network on the iphone 15 pro max we'll get ookla fired up here and see what we can get from the native dish network we're definitely in a null right now um they don't really have a sector aimed this way although the site is live it's got everstream fiber um, but we're both very close to the tower and in a null, so I expect that's why we're seeing as bad of results as what we are, but since all four carriers are here, I just wanted to show you the native, um, the native dish network. It's the bottom macro on the big tower. Um... Yeah, definitely in a bit of a null. Uh, and also probably some umbrella effect. So, creeping up a little bit. They don't have a ton of spectrum here. And I don't know how fast their fiber circuits are, but generally they're they're decent. But this test, not shining. All right. Thanks a ton for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and happy speed testing. All right, I'm back. I pulled around to a slightly different angle to where I'm no longer in a knoll and no longer directly underneath the dish site. I just wanted to show you that dish does indeed work quite well um, here for the spectrum that they do have. Um, so I just wanted to show that real quick as I happen to... Uh, pull up about one block and took me out of the null sector and uh, performance improved quite a bit so I just wanted to show that real quick we have the site directly behind me now it's kind of hard to see there you can see it through the moon roof um, so yeah they're Latency is never quite as good as some of the other guys, but they're, um, I'm sure it's a fairly empty network to date. They have about 13 or 14 towers in the region here. So 300 down, 21 up, jitter 20 milliseconds of latency, 60. Um, not too bad.